hello people good morning good morning good morning you guys are welcome back to the channel this is be real with livingstone immunity and i'm super excited to be here again this week so in my previous uh videos my previous podcast i've been saying things about do not compare yourself with other people uh be better and be a better version of yourself so today we'll be talking about how to be a better version of yourself how what do i need to know how do i become a better person so i know today is going to be really really amazing this episode is going to be really really great so i want you to kind of uh stay away from distraction and give me your full attention okay so we're gonna go on this ride together uh, before I start, I just want to appreciate each and every one of you who have been commenting on my on my work, who have been sharing, and who have been liking my work on YouTube and on Spotify. I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate this. I love you all. So, uh, number one way of becoming a better version of yourself is to compliment yourself, right? So, you wake up in the morning, you go to the bathroom, you stand in front of the mirror, you sort of... Uh, talking negative about yourself just try to talk positive about yourself tell yourself how beautiful you are how handsome you are how intelligent you are i do this most of the time i do this all of the time so when i wake up and i go to the bathroom i just look at myself and i'm like dang this guy is handsome like yeah because sometimes people will not be available to compliment you so you have to compliment yourself so just say something good about yourself and when i'm trying to study for school and I'm, I'm finding particular uh, course really difficult. I just say to myself, Livingston, you're intelligent, you're smart, you're gonna pass this course, you're gonna graduate with a, with a good grade, you're gonna be better, you're gonna be better. So I just told myself these things, just compliment myself. And when, when I'm doing something that is really, really hard and I don't know how to do it, I, I, I tell to myself, oh, Livingston, you can, you can do this you can make it happen you will great you will better you 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 know what you're gonna do you have the solution to this challenge you can do it and I take a break I go think and I come back when I come back I'm coming back with a solution so I, I, I try to build this habit of always saying positive things to myself always say positive things to myself and you too can do likewise you too can do the same thing so wherever you're going through try so give yourself compliments, give yourself positive compliment because these are the things we want to hear. These are the things, these are ways of affirmation are the things we want to hear. And sometimes people will not be there to give us these ways of affirmation. So you have to affirm yourself. You have to tell yourself the truth. You have to tell yourself that you're good. You're made in the image of God. You're beautiful. You're, you're great. So you just have to keep complimenting yourself. Number two, stop blaming others. I always talk about this. Like you're in a situation, you lost your job, you got a heartbreak from your from your significant other, and then you start blaming other people. You you blaming your boss, you blaming your parents, you blaming your partner, you blaming the situation of the country, you you blaming your environment. Stop blaming other people. I stop giving excuses. You blaming others, you're just giving excuses. People are tired of your stories of excuses. People are tired. They want to listen to your story of success. Stop blaming others. Stop giving excuses. Ain't you tired of the numerous excuses you've been giving? Ain't you tired? It's time to take full responsibility of things. Yes, things went sideways. Yes, things that, that didn't turn out the way you wanted it to be. Move on move on life isn't perfect you don't expect your life to be perfect sometimes you're gonna be on the high side and sometimes you're gonna be on the downside but you have to keep moving yes you apply for the job and then you were turned down you didn't get a job it's okay move on you ask this girl to be your girlfriend you like her so much and she doesn't like you in return that is life I've been in that situation when I like someone and then the person doesn't like me, right? so you can't force it, move on. You, you you got a job, you've been working in the company for five years and one faithful money, uh, you, you, your boss just lay you off, it's, it's okay, move on. 
you don't have to blame other people for what is happening in your life you don't truth is you can't expect so much from other people stop expecting so much from other people when you expect so much from other people you're gonna get hurt so stop expecting so much from other people number three you have to let go of anger you angry and that is why your life is where it is because there is this hurt in your heart there is this anger in your heart you have to number one forgive yourself and number two forgive others yeah crazy things happen in the past you have to learn to forgive yourself it's okay you, you, you have to let go of what happened in the past. You, you were abused in the past. You, were, you, were, you had this home trauma. You, you came out from a broken home. You have to forgive yourself and you have to forgive others. If it's your parents, you have to forgive them. If it's your boss, you have to forgive them. If it's your colleagues at work, you have to forgive them. If it's your siblings, you have to forgive them. If, if it's your friends, you have to forgive them. So you have to let go of the anger. See, you can live a more happy and a more successful life if you just let go of the hate. If you just let go of the hunger. Things happened in the past. See, when when you have hunger, anger in your life, it's gonna weigh you down. It's gonna it's gonna put you in the past. You you're gonna live in the past when you have anger in your heart. You're gonna live in the past, so you have to let go of the anger, so you can move forward. So you can you can be better. You have to let go of the anger. Remember, forgive yourself. It's not your fault. Stop blaming yourself. It is not your thoughts forgive yourself then forgive others number four be honest you want to be a better person be honest normalize no more dishonesty when you say you want to do something do it you don't have to lie about it you don't have to cheat about it just do what you gotta do do the positive things do the positive things you, you don't have to cheat on an exam anymore you don't have to lie to your partner or cheat on your partner you don't have to do any of this be honest be truthful be truthful right be that person that everyone will always come to when you when, when you're having a situation be that person when people come to you you always tell them the truth First, be truthful to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. When something isn't true, don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself and don't deceive other people. Number five, be open to change. Yes, you want to be better. You, If you keep doing the things you've always done, you're going to remain who you've always been. You want to be better, you have to be open to change. You have to move out of your comfort zone. You have to do those things that, that are not convenient for you. See, I've said this before when I did the 13, Sec 13 Secret series that one thing successful people do that unsuccessful people don't do is that successful people are always doing the extra they always do the things that are uncomfortable for the unsuccessful people so you have to be open to change you have to be open to changing your diet changing your habits if you're someone who's always uh, taking alcohol you have to be open to change to reduce the portion if you're someone who is into drugs you have to be open to change to reduce the amount of drug you put into your body. If you're someone who who loves to do crazy things, like really, really weird and crazy things, you need to be open to change to be better. You want to be a better person, you need to stop doing those things that don't make you better. And start doing the things that will make you better. Number six, you have to learn, unlearn, and relearn. 
Yes, I understand this is how you've been doing it, right? From when you were small. But things are changing. You have to change with the trend. You have to learn new things. You have to unlearn the things you already know. And you have to relearn the things you know. So learn, unlearn, and relearn if you want to be better. Things are changing. Change with it. And finally, number seven, you have to take care of yourself if you want to be a better person. Take time to sleep. Take time to eat well. Take time to exercise. Take time to take care of your body. Good health is wealth. Don't neglect your health because you want to be very successful. Don't neglect your health because you want to be the best in your school. No. Take time to take care of yourself. If you must change your diet, change your diet. If you want to spend more time sleeping, spend more time sleeping. You want to create time for exercise. Beautiful. Take a walk. Jog for a little while. And these are the ways to be a better version of yourself. And if you do not limit yourself to, to this, if you have other ways you want to share with us, other tips, you can always uh, put in the comments down below and let me know what you think about it. What are, what are the, the tips you've been doing to become a better person? And what are you struggling with? You've done these things before and it's not working. Talk to me. I am here to help. So let me know what you think in the comment below. And remember, try to share this podcast. Try to share this video with someone you love. Right? You want to you wanna put a smile on someone's face. You want to do good to others. You want to support other people. Try to share this with other people so they too can benefit from what you're benefiting. We want to reach a greater audience. I need you to share the video. I need you to share the comments, to share the, the podcast rather. I love you so much and I'll keep making videos for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week.